Let us now think about situations where a while loop is actually going to be necessary. I'd like you to consider this list. This list contains five integers and then we check if seven is in this list and of course it's not and so no surprise this returns false. Now how does the in operator work? Well it performs what we call a linear search. It just uses pattern one iterate until success until it finds this item in this list. In this case it scanned the entire list left to right and it was unable to find this item and so it returned false. Now we could improve upon linear search if we know that the list is in fact sorted. So in this case the data is sorted in ascending order. Now I want to be clear that by ascending order we don't mean that the next item is strictly bigger than the previous item. You could have a situation where two items are equal but in ascending order you never have a situation where you have some larger item immediately followed by a smaller item. So the values in a list that is in ascending order are non-decreasing. The values could go up or they could settle down into a plateau or the, and then they could go up again but they can never decrease in an ascending order. Similarly in a descending order the values can never increase, they could go down. Now if we know that the list is sorted we can improve the situation by searching until we find that item just like linear search or if we find an item that is too large. So we can modify our iterate until success by searching for 7 here, well that's too small, that's too small, that's too small, that's too small, that's too large and there's no point searching further. Now in this particular list there are no more items but imagine there were lots of other items then this first optimization could save us some effort. As soon as we found an item that was larger than what we were looking for, there's no point searching further to its right. So we could stop the linear search earlier, at least in some cases. But if you know the list is sorted, you can do much better than this. And that idea is called binary search. So the idea is we're no longer going to do a linear scan through this list. Instead, what we're going to do is immediately jump into the middle of this list. Now in this example, the length of this list is 5. There are 5 integers in this list. So 5 floor division 2 is of course 2. So we would look at index 2. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2. We would look at this index. Remember we're searching for 7. The value at this index, this middle index, could be too small, like it is in this case. So here we're looking for 7, but the value that we see in the middle is too small, it's much less than 7. And now we say there's no point searching to the left, because remember this list is sorted in ascending order. So the values to the left are either strictly smaller or at most they're equal to the value that we're looking at. And since we are looking for a bigger value, we should search to the right. So by examining the middle item, we can immediately decide whether we are done or whether we can chop off one half of this list. So if it's too small, we can search to the right. If the value we're looking at is too large, let us say we were looking for zero and we went to the middle and we find, oh, this is too large, then there's no point searching for even larger values. We should just focus our attention to the left. And of course, if we're looking for one itself, then we have found what we want. So this idea is called binary search. And to implement it, we need a while loop.